Now, if you want to show relationships between objects, say, uh, you know, you've got a kind of a workflow going on and it's like, okay, you know what, let's change this shape. And if you want to resize a shape, you can just click and drag these corners here. You can also hold down Alt and that'll drag it from the middle. So you can kind of make sure everything fits in there. And again, you can swap out these shapes to whatever you'd like. Maybe give this one a border. And let's say we want to point this object to this shape. So we're going to take this shape here and you can see right here on the corners or on the sides, I should say, uh, there's a little dot. You can click and drag that dot and you can drag it over to any objects. So you can stick it, stick the line to this one, you can stick it to the top, you can stick it to the bottom, you can stick it over here, uh, and it'll kind of snap uh, right in there. So let's say we want to put that on the top, and then as we move this shape, you're going to see that's going to follow. Now one thing that's going to happen is you're going to see when you move the shape down here, uh, it is going to stick just to the top, because that's where we told it to go. When we drag this line out, we stuck it to the top, uh, the left and the right. You're going to see there's also another option in the middle. So if you click and drag a line and you stick it to the middle, now when we move this around, the arrow will automatically adjust based on where it is in space. So you won't get that overlappy thing. It'll just keep moving that line around the object. Now lines are cool. You can click on the line itself. You see you have a bunch of options in here. So you can say, you know what, I want an arrow on both sides, uh, or I just want an arrow on one side. So we'll click none. Uh, if you don't, want, you don't want an arrow on either side, you can click the line and you can say none and none, or you can swap these. So it's like, oh, you know what? I want to reverse this arrow direction. Just click that little swap there. And what arrow type you want. And if you go into uh, the type itself, you can go in here and you can thicken up or thin out this line. Uh, if you don't like this kind of bendy line here, you can change this out to a more rectilinear line, or you can just make it a straight line like so. And if you want to snap this, uh, you know, want this object to be right in the middle, you just click and drag and eventually it'll look and find like this object here. You'll see you'll get a little blue line that goes straight across. So you can actually just visually align uh, objects. And that's true with uh, any number of things. So if you have a bunch of objects here and we're just moving this around, it's like, I want this one to match this, the middle of that one. Just click and drag and it'll shoot that little blue line there telling you that it's aligned. Same thing for this one, we can line it this way and this one we can line here. But now we have a line connecting. Of course, we can change this to be, you know, green or whatever type uh, you want. You can change the uh, the line type to dashes here or the uh, dashes or dotted. And you can also add text. If you just double click the line, you can start typing. And that'll go ahead and put a little bit of text in between here. So I can read this a little bit better, make this a dark green. And then we can go through here and we can change the text separate from the line. And you can go through here and you can change the font size so you can see it, read it a little bit better. And there we go. So let's go ahead and uh, let's, let's link these two. Uh, you can also just tap L on your keyboard. That'll go into linking mode and we can just choose, you know, the arrow type link, click and drag this one over here. And this type, we're going to switch to the bend corner and you can click on here and you can change this if you want this to go higher or lower, you know, so if this is over here, and we don't want it to cut through these. Again, you can just take this link and put it to the middle and then drag this up. So it'll figure out the best way to kind of, you know, link this object. As I'm moving this object around, it'll go ahead and link uh, appropriately. Of course, you can, you can adjust this. You can click and drag this to kind of make these minor adjustments here. And if we make this type different, you know, let's go ahead and make this bendy with a solid line, maybe make that thickness a little bit smaller. Go ahead and change that color. We can go through here and you see we have these little white dots here. So we double click those, that'll get rid of those white dots. So here's just a very simple line here. If you need a little bit more control, you can click on your object and you can click and move to kind of move this line around. And now you can see you have a white dot with two blue dots. You can click this blue dot, you can add another white dot. So you're just adding more and more dots to give you more control over the path. Again, if you don't want those, just double click the white dots and that'll get you back down to your, your plain line. Now, if you like the formatting of this line or the formatting of this line, you can copy and paste it again, just like we did for the shapes. Control Alt C, Control Alt V, and then I'll go ahead and paste this type of line to this type of line. Of course, I need to drop this down, make that another bent line here, and uh, we're good to go. And that formatting works with all sorts of shapes, uh, even sticky notes. So again, Control Alt C to copy this formatting, and then Control Alt V, and then I'll paste that formatting of the sticky note onto that note.
Now let's say you want to treat multiple objects as a single object. That's going to be grouping. So if I have this uh, series of notes right here, hold down shift and select them and then go in here and you can hit that group icon or hit control G and that'll go ahead and group them. So we'll go ahead and group these, control G and we'll group these and hit control G. So now Miro is going to treat these as single objects. So if I wanted to align these as single objects here, so if I move these things around and then go ahead and try to align them, you're going to see it's going to treat them as one object as opposed to if we go through here and we choose ungroup. So now these are all individual objects again. So if you have a bunch of individual objects and we go align these, it's gonna align these as individual pieces here. But if you wanna again, keep these organized, you can go ahead and group these. Let's go ahead and organize them first. Just shift selecting these and then control G, control G. And now these are treated as single objects so they'll stay grouped together and then as you organize them or select them uh, you can move them around and again you can just select these and say ungroup or hit Control shift g to ungroup